YouTube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. T Gang in the building, what's up? I ain't said that in a while. Felt good coming off the tongue, so I had to put a little energy with it. But today we're gonna discuss something that's about to come off the new apparel line, this dope shirt. How are we gonna incorporate these colors in the pattern of the month? Or should I say, flavor of the month? The flower powder. All that and more after the intro. <laughs> So we already have our image that we're going to do, and this is off the uh, Grizzly Fit G Fit line dropping July 2020. Move that out the way. And basically it, what it is is dope, and there's a bear in the middle, my actual logo. But this is going to be a rose gold pink, and these are going to be flower power, or the flavor of the month. Um, I'm going to outline it because I want it to be in the uh, back. I want the background to have white around it. So I'm gonna go down here to my little star or my offset button. Click on that, select all of this and actually make an offset path for that. Now you could change the distance if you want to. If you don't want it this thick, if you want it like a little smaller, just come down here to the distance and tap down to We'll go to probably 120. I can go down a little bit more. Give it a little thinner line. And this is for my camo users, my Cameo 4 users actually. Okay, so we ended up with 95. That's 0 0.095 on the distance. And hit apply. And now our image is ready. It's been outlined. So we're gonna move the dope actually out of the way and the bear. And I'll be right back with you in one second. So I cleared out the bear. There was some actual indentations like how you can see the P right here, the circle in it or some in the grizzly bear. I'm actually wanting a thin line around the word. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna offset it one more time. So I did it twice. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to weld the parts that didn't weld. It automatically will. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. If you can see the image right here, it welded automatically. And right here, it welded automatically. And what this is going to do is it's going to leave a white line around the border of my words. So I've uh, got my dope ready. And this is going to be the actual letters that's going to be in the flower pattern. So I'm gonna go to my material and I made a special one for Econo. Cause y'all know I only rock with Econo V. Quit playing. Weeze like butter, baby. All right, and then this is a flex foil if you guys didn't know about the material. So I know I have the force kind of high and the speed of the three and then a five, but it works for me, so that's what I'm going with. Now we're sending it to the cutter. Let it do its magic. And gotta let it cut out and see what happens after that. This is also a layering video for those that are doing layering and have like some type of confusion on how to layer. This is just one of the ways that I layer. So we're gonna go through it step by step as I weed. And this is a quick tip. This is a, a weeding box or a weeding circle. No, I didn't have to make it this big. I could have made it closer, but it gives me the option to one, leave the lettering in and just peel the backing off or leave the backing on and peel the letters out. I could do it either or, but you can use these shapes they're usually off to the side. Let me go to my regular page and I'll show you guys. And this is in the Silhouette Design Studio 4. I don't need y'all looking at all my business, so we're gonna have to plus that on up. Right here is the, from the arrow key down, one, two, three, four, the oval shape. There's a rectangle in there, a semi-square with rounded edges, a oval, and like a hectagon or a polygon you can use these to go around your image 
and uh, make weeding boxes. This makes life much more easier when it comes to weeding, especially like the littler letters or the smaller images with a lot of detail. So now that we have all of our images cut out, we're gonna start the layering process. Um, sometimes it depends when you're layering, how to layer. Let's say if you had an image and you just were using an outline like I'm doing, we're just gonna simply pull out the inside of the image or the inside of the cavity, and we're gonna line it up and stamp it one at a time. Sometimes you're able to do multiple stamps in one stamp. It just depends on how you're layering. Layering can be very tedious sometimes, or it can be very easy, depending upon how you choose to do it. So, I've already cut my images. I have the D, P, E, and the flower power, flavor them all. And then I have the outline. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it, but the outline is there. And we're gonna just peel out all of this cavity and all the background and we'll be left with a line. We have the grizzly bear already done which is in uh, Rose Gold. Oh yeah, and did I mention, go get you some Econo, baby, quit playing. Hands down, weeds like butter. What y'all think, can I do that for a commercial? No, hit me up, Econo, I'm ready to do that commercial, y'all, I'm ready. But back to what I was saying. And then the Rose Gold G-Fit, which I put like a circle around so it's easy for me to just pull out the G-Fit because as you can see on my shirt, dope. At the bottom, I have G-Fit. Once again, drop in July 20, 2020, if you would like some. Or some Mike T's YouTube merch. That's going to be dropping pretty soon. Usually, I just pick a corner, I pull over. I mean, really. Should I, do I need to explain anything else? And that's really how the weeding box works. And yes, I didn't have to go so broad, but I, I just chose. These are all scraps that I had left over. So. It's not like I'm wasting. These are from other projects. Now, before I peel the inside out, you can very easily lay the dope, the DPE, inside of the white and just leave the white there, but it would show the cut edges. And that's not what I want to do. I want to peel that out actually, being the letters. So the dope just sits on the inside, because I just want it as a border. There's no need to lay it on top of that. Even though the flex foil will work perfectly for this, there's just no need. I think it would be a lot hotter on the chest and sometimes people don't like that vinyl feel. I like Econos because you don't feel it on the shirt. But if you layer it too much, you might be able to feel something on the shirt. So, I mean, that took all like two minutes, not two minutes, two seconds. Let's get down to the last one. Which is the flex foil. And this is my favorite. I've gotten a lot of people asking where did I get it? How do I use it? What would I use it on? And I just explained to them on different little projects. I like that it's not plastic feel. It doesn't have that plastic feel. It's really a foil. And it adheres to shirts and hats very easily. So we're gonna stamp at 320 degrees for at least 15 seconds to get the first layer down. Now, you don't want to stamp for a long time because this will ultimately shrink when layering. You typically go half the time. So if it's 10 seconds, you would go about five seconds. Let's start that without that. We just wanna tack it to the garment. So we're finally on our last layer, which is the grizzly bear that's in hot pink, or not hot pink, rose gold pink. And you wanna cut down the plastic because it will leave an impression and or indentation in your Econo transfer or any vinyl for that matter. So you kinda of wanna trim close with uh, the plastic carrier sheet. Cover it and stamp it. I ultimately did four stamps. 
So, I always show the finished product, which I'm going to show here in a second. But if you like any of this comment, peruse through my videos, check them out, leave a comment, a subscribe. Let me know what's going on with you. Um, phone's ringing in the background. Heat press is popping up. the finished product right there guys like subscribe comment hit me up on facebook if you got any questions and you know like my homegirl say you did get out and do something do do because you need to make something happen just try and leave a positive vibe until the next one i'm out <laughs>